Guardian Richfield for the pollinator pathway. So what's going on today is that throughout Richfield we're installing a connected set of pollinator gardens to promote the education of our community about pollinators and the importance of insects in general. The Ridgefield Pollinator Pathway and neighboring towns Pollinator Pathway is such a great example of community engagement around pollinators. Connect connecting habitat patches in a concerted way is, I think, one of the best ways to think about pollinators on the scale that they are using the landscape. So bumblebees are traveling something like three miles to get different resources for their nest. They're trying to get the perfect balance of protein to lipid content. Sometimes that means they're going up and down and up and down looking for the right plants to balance that content for their offspring. So the more pollinator resources you have in a connected way is great for pollinators. Creating a messy lawn but you want to advertise to others that this is something you're doing deliberately is to put up a habitat sign. Um, well, we got some volunteers here to plant our first pollinator pilot garden and we pulled out the mugwort and now we are planting. We got our pretty darn quick seed mix from Prairie Dome with the wetland enhancement. Well, there's a wide variety of items, and uh, we have purple cone flower, there's cardinal flower, we have different clovers, right? Clovers, we have uh, golden rods. I went to a talk that said the perfect way to start a pollinator garden is 3-3-3. Three, three, three. You do three plants that bloom in the spring early for like the first pollinators that need nectar. Then you do three that are over the summer and you do three that are fall. And then you can add and should add some host plants like the milkweed that the caterpillars use. Tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up and I'm going to become part of the pollinator pathway. <laughs> Things, the next three steps I should take. Hmm. What do I do? Okay. Just wait when you wake up. <laughs> After the coffee. Yeah. <laughs>